save the 10 minutes. First of all, you know you're going to sweat, so you need to make sure you have a complete change of clothes when you come back, all right? So that's like everyone from socks, pants, right the way up, okay? If you're wearing the stuff to do the activity, it's going to get wet, all right? Um, you need a towel, you need your shower gel, your wash and go, whatever else, it's all sitting down, ready. So we can drive straight in, get showered, and that's what's ready, more or less, for going out later on, okay? Um, all the stuff that you got off last night, off us, you will wear, except probably the long red waterproof trousers and the long jacket with the hood. Okay, right. there's a wee waterproof jacket with rubber on the cuffs and like a wee clothes on the neck. Wear it rather than a long red one. Okay. Anyone both of them? There's no heat in that. He's wearing both of them, there's no heat in it. Okay. Just for the one thing that you need to do, and uh, um, I really, really stress this, is wear plenty of tops, wear plenty of layers. You can keep this part of your body warm. So you're talking about a t-shirt, a long sleeve uh, top, like a sweatshirt or a hoodie, or a tracksuit top, then our fleece, okay? And that's the bare minimum. If you can afford to put another layer on and you have it in your bag, bring yeah. another layer. This is going to be cold. What was, what was snow last week on the mountains is now going to be in the river. So the river's going to be cold. Things have started melting today, so it's not going to be the warmest. If you wrap up warm,